Let's wire up a simple 12 volt relay in my F350. So what I'm gonna be using this relay for is to switch on and off a 42 inch light bar, which I'm gonna mount to the top of my plow. So now I have to figure out where exactly I'm gonna put this relay. I wanna make sure that I keep it out of the elements, but I also want the installation to look factory. So now that I found the perfect spot, this works out great because it keeps the relay out of the elements, but it's also right next to the battery. So I really don't need that much wire anyway. So now we're gonna be using a drill punch. We're gonna punch our two holes out first and then we're going to be using a 764 drill bit to make the initial hole and then I'm just going to be using this Klein tap here to tap all these screws out to 832 machine screws. I'm just using these regular 832 machine screws because this is stuff I already had on hand and also the relay doesn't really weigh that much of anything anyway so this is going to work out great for me. So now that we have all that done we're going to be applying some anti-seize lubricant to those threads and we're also going to apply it to the head of the machine screw itself. That way, in case that relay goes bad, we can always just take it out and put a new one in. So now let's focus on the 12 volt wiring. So right here, I'm just using standard 12 volt colors. So our red's gonna be our positive and then our black's gonna be our negative. We're gonna use these fork crimp terminals here. These are crimp terminals. And then we're also gonna be using some marine grade heat shrink on top of it. So as you can see, I have it crimped and now we're gonna be applying our marine grade heat shrink. And here's a little pro tip for you. Make sure that you put the heat shrink on first and then you crimp your four crimp terminals because if not, you're gonna have to cut that crimp off and then redo everything and it's a really big pain. So this is what the finished result of that looks like. This also has that adhesive in it. So it's gonna make sure that it keeps all that corrosion out of there. And these connections are gonna last a very, very long time. So now I'm showing you guys that I'm gonna make my own wiring loom harness here. I wanna make sure that I go one step above and beyond. I don't like just seeing bare wires like that so this is going to protect those wires from any abrasions especially when you're plowing there's a lot of force and a lot of vibration so this is going to protect those wires for a very long time so now this is how i'm routing them i'm just going to follow the old plow harness all the way up and then we're going right into the relay so now on the actual light bar itself, this is the connector that it comes with. So we're just gonna use, again, these barrel crimp connectors here. We're gonna make sure that we crimp them and then we're gonna apply our heat shrink again on top. And this is what the finished result of that looks like. And here's another pro tip for you to know that your heat shrink is actually done. You can see that um, actual adhesive oozing out of it. And that means that you're basically done heating that up. You don't wanna heat it up anymore or it's gonna burn. So now we have our terminals all hooked up here. We just used our circle terminals. And now, as you can see, I'm using the remote control to switch that relay on and off. And this is working out great. I also welded up these custom light bar brackets here. And then I used some rubber bed liner on them to finish it off. And this